Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. An interesting study of the effects of NMN on older healthy adults has just been released as a preprint. It shows increased intracellular NAD levels in the blood and improved health on a couple of measures while confirming safety. They also looked at its impact on biological age. It was a randomized placebo-controlled trial and importantly compared the results with different dosages. So all in all, very interesting. So let's have a look at what they found. First, a disclaimer that in this video, we are sharing a study that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Here is the paper, The Efficacy and Safety of NMN as Anti-Aging Supplementation in Healthy, Middle-Aged and Older 40 to 65-Year-Old Adults, a randomized, multi-center, double-blind, placebo-controlled, parallel group, dose-dependent human clinical trial. As a note, this is a preprint in The Lancet, so not peer-reviewed at this point. As we know, NAD levels decline with age, and NMN has been shown to be safe and increase NAD levels in animal models. However, limited human trials have been done, especially around finding the optimal dose. And the trials have not evaluated whether NAD levels increased in the blood cells or how it affects overall health and biological age of healthy adults. Looking at the specifics of the trial, it was randomized, multi-center, double-blind, placebo-controlled, parallel group, and dose-dependent. It was carried out simultaneously at two centers in Pune, India. There was 80 participants aged between 40 and 65 years old, including men and women. There were four groups taking a daily oral dose of placebo, 300 milligrams, 600 milligrams, or 900 milligrams of NMN. The treatment was provided in a capsule. The primary objective of the trial was to evaluate NAD concentrations, six minute walk test, SF36 questionnaire at baseline and days 30 and 60, and biological age and HOMA IR at baseline and day 60. The secondary objective was to confirm the safety by looking at clinical parameters at baseline and at day 60. The clinical trial was registered at clinicaltrials.gov. You can look up this ID to see the details. And what did they find? All AD participants completed the trial, which is important for the statistics. I will just run through the highlights here. We will look in more detail at the figures later, and the paper is available if you want to have a look yourself. Intracellular blood NAD did significantly increase in all NMN groups. This was dose dependent from 300 to 600, but there was no improvement from 600 to 900. Similar results were found for the six minute walk test and mostly the same for the SF36 questionnaire. For the NMN groups, biological age was found to be statistically younger at day 60. It says 90 here, but I think that this is a typo. Finally, OMA 8 IR for insulin sensitivity did not see a statistical difference, and there was no adverse event attributed to NMN, nor any negative impact on the clinical parameters. So let's look at the results that they got. First, blood intracellular NAD concentrations. The four groups are in each column, and I've highlighted the results as percentages change after 30 days and 60 days for each group. After 30 days, the placebo saw a 20% increase. 300 milligrams saw a 151% increase. 600 milligrams saw 390% increase. But the 900 milligram group only saw a 312% increase, showing no improvement over that of the 600 milligram. We see a similar outcome at day 60, though it is worth noting that the numbers have increased, which would imply that it takes time for the NMN to be effective. Next was the six minutes walk test. In this test, the participant is asked to walk as far as they can in six minutes. It is a common test of physical ability. Looking at the same set of figures, we see similar results, a dose dependent increase from placebo to 300 milligrams to 600 milligrams, and then a slight decrease at 900 milligrams. Each group improves at 60 days with similar outcomes. Next was the SF36. So first, let's see what this is. 
SF36 stands for the 36 item short form survey, which is often used as a way of measuring self-reported health. It has 36 questions covering both physical and mental conditions, and is often used as a measure of quality of life. Here are the results for the SF36 questionnaire. There was an improvement in the placebo and dose-dependent improvements in the same way as before in day 30 and in day 60. Next was biological age. They used Aging AI 3.0 from in silico medicine. This is a clock which takes 19 input parameters and calculates an age. The parameters are blood markers, so this is not an epigenetic clock, but a biomarker clock. Here are the results at day 60, as they did not test at day 30. The placebo group increased by five and a half years. The 300 milligram NMN group increased by 1.5 years. And the 600 milligram group decreased by 1.15 years. And the 900 milligram group increased by one year. I am not clear how to interpret these results. As they mentioned, all the NMN groups did better than the placebo, but this was because the placebo group aged by five years in 60 days, not because the NMN groups did well. I would also have preferred an epigenetic clock rather than a phenotypic one. Here are the figures for HOMA IR, a measure of insulin sensitivity, which again was only taken at day 60. The for HOMA IR, lower is generally better, with a number around 2.5 being regarded as insulin resistant. There were changes from baseline across the groups, but none were significant compared to placebo, though some were significant compared to baseline, including the placebo group. They also ran a comprehensive series of 34 biomarker tests, such as albumin, blood counts, the lipid panel, glucose, and so on, at baseline and after 60 days, in which they found no significantly abnormal changes. A few other points on the study. The NMN they used was Abino Neutra, which was made by ABA Chemicals Company from Shanghai. ABA also co-funded the trial with Abino Farm. Abino Farm is based in the US, but just based on the name may be related to ABA. The authors declared no conflict of interest. In summary, NMN supplementation did increase blood cellular NAD levels, physical strength, and overall health in healthy middle-aged adults. They say they saw a reduction in biological age, which I commented on earlier. The benefits leveled off at 600 milligrams with no improvements with 900 milligrams. Doses up to 900 milligrams were safe and well tolerated. There was a lot to like about the study. It was an RCT with healthy adults that looked at the dose response and they checked many blood markers. The paper has all the data attached if you want to look at it in more detail. Although there may continue to be speculation about the metabolic pathway and whether all the NMN is first converted to nicotinamide or not, the results do show that NMN increases intracellular blood NAD levels. The six minutes walk test and SF36 are both measures of general health, and it's good to see that they both significantly improved. It is interesting to see that a dose of 600 milligrams was as effective as 900 milligrams.